welcome to another episode of the 3270 screen recordings. Today we're going to install Git from Rocket Software onto our ZOS image. In order to do that we need to first create a little ZFS that we can mount that will contain the Git software. Then we're going to install Git and try and get it to work. Um, I already made some preparations for this because otherwise you will only have to watch me struggle getting the JCL to work. I'm going to log on and I'm going to take you through the job. 3.4 um, I did have to make a little change because we were running out of numbers so I changed the job names a bit and I created this job where we are going to create oh, let's bring this up create a ZFS to contain our software we are going to format the ZFS here in the second step then we're going to make a mount point then we're going to mount it but before we do so we're going to make sure that the ZFS address space can actually read the ZFS that we're creating and future ZFS's as well we're going to do a dynamic mount to see if it works and then at the end we're just going to set some permission bits to see how that all works we're just going to submit this and see what happens maybe go to the other side m.5 should be done now return code zero that's nice so down here everything is ran we can see everything has a return code of zero just quickly browse to the output we can see the cluster has been generated the ZFS has been booked up in RACF and the file system has been mounted so just to make sure that everything is okay we are going to go to the mount point we made see what file system is here that looks good. We are now going to have to head on over to another thing, which is this one. That's so that we can um, bring in the software that we downloaded from Rocket Software. It's all in here. There is also a Git installer present. Um, that's a little script I wrote a couple of years ago to install Git the easy way. Um, it's somewhere on github I'll put the link in the description so we're gonna to have to bring these files over to our ZOS environment I'm just going to use FTP because that way I can do the binary transfer for the gzip and the tar files and an ASCII transfer for the git installer so we're going to FTP to our machine we're going to log on as the power user and we are going to put all these files um, as you can see we're now in the MVS side of things but we don't want to go there because those files are these things we don't want that we want to go to our stuff folder and we want to go to our download folder and then we want to go into binary mode we don't want any replies and we're going to just put all the gzip files oh that pearl's a big one we're gonna put and put all our tar files that's gzip we're gonna go into ascii mode and we're gonna put git installer.sh get out of here clear the screen and let's get into Unix system services through SSH. Get on in there. Give it the password. And our stuff is here. There's some old stuff there from me messing about. We're just going to get rid of those. Remove. And remove that. Check it again. 
clear it out. We still have this terminal issue. Um, I'm really going to have to fix it permanently this time because it's really starting to annoy me. We're going to go to the profile. Oh yeah, we can't because we need to say term equals x term. Then we will go to ATC profile all the way down. Maybe add a little header. Maybe add a little header that says something like custom settings. That might work. Then we're going to say that term equals x term. Just to be sure that that works. that we've done it correctly. We're going to go back in, clear. That works nicely. Back to our download folder with all the stuff. Um, the git installer is on GitHub. You need to run it as UADE 0. Um, therefore, you need to read the source code before actually running it so you know what it's doing. So once you do that, you run it. You're not stupid. And we're going to install this. Well, we are going to install this to ZDO slash rocket. And this is probably going to take a while to install all the software, unzip it, unpack it, run some Perl verification scripts. So I'm just going to keep it running. And then I probably will fast forward this. Whoa, there it goes. And it's done. One of the things the installation script creates are those remove distribution files, the uninstall script, um, and it should put a environment file in the installation directory, which is the this one here, environment does it sh. Come on, clear. Let's see that one. And basically what we need to do is take this bit, copy it and stick it in ETC profile so it's acceptable and present for everybody. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. Let's log off again. Log on again. see if we have git well that seems to work how about we go and clone ourselves a nice little repository to work with for that we're gonna log back into our mainframe environment just through SSH like so log on we added a little nice banner um, we're going to go to our stuff folder, we're going to go to our repos folder, which is still a nice auto-mounted thing. And we are going to git clone this repository. And let's see how that works if we go into the Ziggy folder. Everything is there. We should be able to install this software. That looks good. We're going to install it to... Let's just install it to IBM user as a prefix. It kind of looks good. And so we are just going to execute that thing see what coolness this brings creating an SSH key pair that's nice
Ah, there it is. It took long enough. Let's give it some information for our Git profile. Copy this into our clipboard, and there we are. Let's create a nice little repository to contain our setup jobs. And we're gonna call this setup jobs, and we're gonna store it in our stuff folder repos. That'll work. Working and crunching. We're gonna. Uh, well, first we're gonna select that repository. Then, hopefully, yes, we will add the IBM user setup jobs. shows us we have a bunch of untracked files. Let's take a look at the status. Well indeed it's untracked so we might as well add the whole thing and then have a quick peek on what it is and what it's done. Well that's all good. So what's been added to the index why don't we commit this first commit IBM user dot set dot jobs. Nice. Log. Cool. In the meantime, I've created a new repository at GitHub called Setup Jobs. I also added my SSA key to my account there. So if we take a look at that GitHub page, it now looks kind of like this. But we're going to take that um, URL for the repository and add it to our local one as the remote. For that, we will say remote, paste that in. Again, we wait a little while. Well, that looks promising. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's take a look at our repository on the GitHub side of things. I'm just pressing reload here. And now our files are here. That is nice. That is nice back to our screen. Where are we? Get rid of this one. And just stop the recording for now.